Hi buddies. Welcome to Maths Nibuna. Today we will see a question based on kangaroo maths competition. Uh, okay, today we will discuss the question for Benjamin level which is I took question 2018. Pass a paper for 2018. Benjamin. Okay, Benjamin is for students in year 5 and year 6. Okay, so we discuss question 1 to 5. Okay, we see our first question. Okay, the picture shows three flying arrows and nine fixed balloons. Okay, we have a three arrow and we have nine balloons. When an, an arrow hits a balloon, okay, the arrow is move from left to right okay when the arrow hits the balloon balloon will be burst okay now we have a three arrow so when we the three arrows moving from left to right how many balloons will be burst that is the question okay you can try first okay now we see the solution for this question question number one eh? so when the first balloon goes from left to right it will hit the green balloon and the red balloon that means the first arrow first arrow will hit two balloons okay now the second arrow when it moves from left to right it will hit the mm, yellow balloon and the blue balloon so now we have a four balloon burst and then the third arrow when it moves from left to right it will, it will be burst the yellow and the red balloon so total balloon burst is six okay this is a first question okay next we look at the second question there are three objects on the table what does Peter see if he looks at the table from the above okay we see this is a top view eh? so uh, what's the name uh, Peter okay Peter will see from top Okay, how does this looks when he looks from top? Okay, what do we do? What we do? We try to spin a little bit. Okay, this picture. This is you have to imagine. Eh? You have to imagine this. Okay. So when we look from the top, we can see this object as one square, one rectangle, and then one circle. Circle will be in the middle of the uh, rectangle. Okay. So, what will be the answer? Okay, which one is? Same as this object, it is C. Okay, we go to the third question. The garden is, a, it is divided into identical square. So, we have an identical, this is a garden. We have an identical square. That means if they say identical square, all the squares are same. Okay. If this square is 2 by 2, this must be 2 by 2. If this is 10 by 10, this must be 10 by 10. That is means by identical square. Okay, we have two snails. Eh? One snails move fast. That means it can move 2 meter per hour. Okay. So in this question, they give the square is 1 meter. Okay, they didn't give. So we assume this is 1 meter. Okay, we assume this is 1 meter. Okay, the fastest snail move 2 meter per hour. That means for... One hour, it can move from year to year, two meter. But the slow snail is move only one meter. Okay. But the first snail, the fastest snail, move left to right, start from here, you go to here, and then uh, the fastest snail will go round. Eh? The sm uh, slow snail will move up. It will go here until it will reach there. So the question is, when these two snails will meet? Okay. okay, now we have this picture. Okay, we start first with the fastest snail. Okay, when fastest, fast snail move 2 meter, the slow snail will move 1. Okay, if he moves 2, he moves 1. He moves 2, he moves 1. So, we have to uh, just uh, take a pencil and make a, the cut lines. Okay, if this is 2, this is 1. This is 2, this is 1. This is 2, this is 1. Still not admit. This is 2, this is 1. 
Okay, the fast snail move two more. The small snail will move one more. So that means both of them will meet at B. Okay. This is how to solve the this question. Okay, look at question number four. Elliot subtracted two digit numbers. Then she painted two boxes. That means the two boxes are missing. The number and the two boxes are missing. What is the sum of the two g two digits <coughs> in the painted box? That means where to find this digit and this digit. Okay. So we must know that digits means we only have a ten digits. That means zero, one, two, three until nine. That is a digit. Okay. Okay. So we see how to solve this question now. Okay. Now we write the equation in this method. Okay. So we have something we don't know. Empty box. We have three. We minus with something we don't. Uh, sorry, two and another box. Okay. And the total is twenty-five. Okay. First, what we do? We subtract three to some number to get a five. Okay. Three minus something is five. But actually, we cannot do this. Three cannot minus anything to get five because five is biggest number. Okay. So what we know, what we do, we borrow one. Okay, you cannot do. We borrow one from your left to three. So this three become thirteen. So thirteen minus something equal to five. Now we know what is the number inside this box. Okay, so it is eight. Thirteen minus eight is five. So in this box we can keep as a eight. Okay, there is no other choices. Only eight can go there. Okay, now we we'll look at the second box, second row, eh? second column. Okay, we have to a box. We don't know minus with some number is equal to two. Okay, so what we can what we know four minus two is two, correct? Okay, but if we already give one year, so we cannot put four year. Okay, actually four minus two is two, but we already give one year. Okay, already shift one to the right, so this should be five. We cannot put a four. This should be a five. So here is five. Now the question asks us what? What is the sum of these two digits? So five plus eight is thirteen. So answer is D. So we'll go to the question number five, the last question for today. What is the least number of times we have to roll? We have to roll a regular die to be sure that at least one number will be picked. So normally we know the die as one, two, three, four, five, and six. Six numbers. Okay. When we throw a die, maybe first time we can get a one. Okay. Second time, the is it? There's a chances is to get a one. But we want to find what is the minimum number of uh, throws we have to do to get a repeated number. That means we have to consider all the numbers, okay? Because we have a uh, six numbers. Okay, there are six numbers. Okay, for the first six attempt, we can have different numbers. That means we can one, two, three, four, five, six. Once all the six number is already out. The seventh number must be either one number, or at least one number from this list. That means after six die, then only we can get a repeated number. That means the repeated number will get at the seventh time. Okay, so the answer is seven. Okay, that's all for this time. I'll see you again with the next question soon. Bye. Thank you.